So today I'm gonna make a little classic Valentine's meal, kind of the lover's meal, steak, baked potato, and broccoli. So steak, oh my gosh, steak. Well, this is a Valentine vegan steak and it's made from Satan. And this Satan recipe is just a touch a little bit more healthy than your regular Satan. So where we're gonna start this meal is in our blender, we're gonna take canned chickpeas, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, coriander powder, oregano, our liquid aminos, which is a little bit lower in sodium than soy, soy sauce, it has 16 essential amino acids, I like Bragg's liquid aminos, um, tomato paste, uh, paprika, black pepper, Dijon, liquid smoke, and vegetable stock. That goes all in the blender right here. So I've already started that a little bit. So uh, you, it probably takes you a couple of minutes to do that. And then you just want to keep scraping it down. Now, with this, all you have to do is take it right out of your blender. And, uh, and we're going to go ahead and scrape all these wonderful ingredients right into my bowl here. Watch how easy this is. All right. I mean, if you could smell that, that smokiness from the liquid smoke and the smoked paprika, it's just, just absolutely wonderful. That's gonna go all right in here. And then we're gonna put a cup and three quarters of vital wheat gluten. Vital wheat gluten, you can get it at your local, local grocers. Bob's Red Mill makes a wonderful vital wheat gluten. Or you can go on our friends at the ever-present Amazon and, uh, and buy some vital wheat gluten. So we're gonna put that vital wheat gluten in here. And we're just gonna mix this all up. And now this is gonna be the batter that you're gonna to start uh, to make, the, the dough actually, that you're gonna to start to make uh, the, the steak from. Now, this is where it's gotta get a little, a little dirty here. You gotta get your hands in there. And don't be afraid to use your hands when you're mixing this up. Um, what you're doing now is you're blending the flour, which is the vital wheat gluten and all those wonderful uh, spices and chickpeas and tomatoes and everything. And you're going to just keep working it, working it, working it with your hands. And it's a lot of fun. So if you got kids, um, you know, they'll probably love them. Make this, uh, make this with you. And um, then you can put them to bed and you and your, your significant other can have, uh, have a wonderful Valentine's. You just work it all in here. And now I've got this uh, wonderful kind of hunk of, of Satan. And now comes the fun part. So if you're angry at your significant other, Take your anger, anger out on your Satan and beat it. So you just, you, what you want to do is you want to flatten it out. You want to work it a little bit and then flatten it out. So you're going to flatten this out, just kind of beat it. See, I'm making beats too today, folks. So just beat it till, till, till it's about um, a half inch in thickness. All right. And don't worry about it being shaggy kind of on the ends because that's kind of the way steaks are. They're not always, you know, perfect and it gives you a little bit of texture. And you don't want to overwork this either. All right. Um, what you want is because if you over eat it, if you overbeat it, um, it, it's going to get really, really tough. So you just want to pull it a little bit. And if it pulls back like that, see the way you just kind of tug on it and then it springs back. That's about how you want it. So I'm just gonna press this flat. Now what we're gonna do is to cut this into four, four steaks. All right, really easy. All we do is just cut it into four steaks like that. All right, four simple steaks. And now we wanna form it like a little bit of, of a steak. All right, we just wanna form it like a steak. And you'll notice it's kind of thin, but what happens with Satan and vital wheat gluten in general is when you cook it, you steam it, it puffs up, all right? Um, so we're just gonna form them kind of like little fillets, if you will. You can make them round. If you wanna make it heart-shaped, it's kind of heart-shaped, huh? kind of heart-shaped. Um, you can make them heart-shaped. 
Um, but I'm going to keep them kind of like, like fillets. You can make a petite fillet too if you want to make a kind of the old fat, you know, the old filet mignon. When those most of us were meat eaters at some at one point in our lives, I certainly was. I actually, my wife's been going through some pictures, and um, when I graduated from my from college, actually my graduate degree, my first one in 1986. Had me sitting in front of a big hunk of steak eating that, and I was like 24 years old back then. So, anyways, uh, so you can make different sizes. And now, what we're going to do, folks, is just take and put it in some foil, and we want to loosely wrap some foil around it. You want to use foil in this instance because you want to constrict its growth when we when we cook these uh, when we cook these steaks. So just loosely wrap it. Wrap it in, but we want to constrict it a little bit, so that's why we're using foil. I, I sometimes will make another saving product, so I'll just wrap it in um, parchment paper, which is great, and that just lets it expand a little bit. But with this recipe, you want to use foil and just wrap it up like so. See how easy this is? And we just wrap this up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to steam this. I'm going to show you my little my little contraption here. Um, what I've got is I've got my, uh, my old cast iron pan, and I've got about an inch of water in the bottom of that. I just put my steaks in here, just like that, put the lid on it, and, um, and then put it on your burner and steam it for 20 minutes. That's all you'll, you're going to do, steam it for 20 minutes. Now, um, after that, you're going to make... Um, while it's being made, actually, I should say, you're going to uh, make a marinade. Now, the marinade is listed as well in the recipe for my vegan Valentine steaks. And in the marinade, it's a cup of a half a cup of aqu aquafaba, which is the viscous liquid from uh, chickpeas. And then I use a teaspoon of Chicago steak seasoning. So I'm in Chicago. I'm outside of actually. I'm actually um, on the south south suburbs of Chicago. And this is a steak seasoning. It's relatively low in sodium, and it's got some spices in it that are typical that are typically used in in um, in steak seasoning. Now, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we really want the flavors to be impregnated in this. So you can use this steak seasoning, or you make your own. You could just put some equal parts of onion and garlic powder, and a little pinch of salt, and some paprika. But I'm using that. And then a teaspoon of, of paprika, some agave syrup, tomato paste, and some more liquid smoke. So I put that in a little bowl and whisk it all up. So then it's got, it, it, it becomes this kind of red marinade. Now, you want to marinate your steaks for about four to six hours in the refrigerator. Turn them a couple of times. You can even marinate them overnight. So make them, you know, make them the day before. And then what you're going to do, so I've got one made here that's been marinating now. Um, this has actually been marinating for a couple of days, so it's no no big problem, no big uh, problem. And then I'm going to take the marinade, I'm going to take the steak, and now I'm going to char it a little bit. I just want to caramelize the outside of the steak a little bit, give it that little bit of a of a color, right? The marinade, since we're not, we're no, you know, there's no meat. Typically in meats, you're um, you're never going to eat the marinade, but with this, you can use this as a steak sauce. Put a little. Uh, Put a little hot sauce in this to give a little bit of spice, and you can pour this right over the steak. I'm going to heat some up in my in my same pan as um, as you see right here. So I'm just going to keep letting this cook. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit. The other two, the other two part parts of this of this meal are a, a baked potato and some broccoli. Kind of the classic quintessential. Um, uh, quintessential steak dinner. So what I've got is I've, I've got a uh, I've got a baked potato all cooked up, and I'm um, gonna keep my eye on the steak here, and it's just starting to caramelize a little bit, you know. And it really kind of depends on how caramelized on the outside you want it. Do you want it really brown? You know, it's really up to you. So I'm gonna take my baked potato, kind of the classic way of serving a baked potato, and open that baked potato up, right? And then um, I've got some sour cream. Now we are dairy free. So my sour cream recipe is a vegan recipe. That recipe is also included with my, with my vegan 
uh, steak recipe. And in this uh, little jar here, I've got silken tofu, lemon juice, salt, and some agave syrup. And then we just use my immersion blender and just blend it all up so it gets kind of this creamy, nice creamy uh, texture. And then I just take, take a little bit of my uh, sour cream and plop that in the middle of the big potato. I'm going to take a look at my uh, at my steak here. It's getting nice and nice and charred on the outside. A little, little bit of brown, a little bit of brown. Um, we're going to put that on my plate. I'm going to gather up some of my some of my marinades, pour that right on the top. You can serve this with a vegan steak sauce. You want to make sure your steak sauce is vegan. Some steak sauces have Worcestershire in them. Worcestershire typically is made with anchovies, so we don't want that in our diet, but there are vegan Worcestershire sauces as well. And, and what meal isn't complete without some wonderful broccoli? And really easy, it's about three or four minutes, you steam some broccoli in about an inch of water in, a, in, in the pot here, that's all I just put it like right in, the, in about that inch of water. And um, broccoli, um, I like to throw a little bit of nutritional yeast on the top of my broccoli and that cheesiness and mm, 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 doesn't that look amazing doesn't that remind you of just a quintessential steak dinner for valentine's day so here's to the loves of your life love you guys all and for my darling i love you and my heart does too